up guys welcome back to my channel today i am antiquing for harry potter so my big potter month project is this shelf i've painted it and i've kind of started gathering my potter collection but i'm trying to add to it i want to make it this big beautiful ornate harry potter shelf and so i was thinking like where could i find things to fill it that aren't necessarily Harry Potter related, but look like they might belong in the magical world. And of course the antique shop came to mind. So today we are going to Heritage Square Antique Mall and I am going to look for some Harry Potter, either like directly related Harry Potter things, although that's not something you find too easily in Ohio, or things that look like you could find them in Dumbledore's office. That was a pretty successful trip, I think. The shelf is not large, so there are some things that I wanted to get that I just couldn't, the size of it. And also I was trying to stay on a budget. So did I leave with everything I wanted? No, but I am pretty happy with the stuff that I got. I just ordered Chipotle online, so I have a little bit of time to kill. So I thought I would do a little Potter Month Antique Mall haul with you guys um, from the car, like a professional YouTube person. So here's what I got. Everything is wrapped in paper. Here is a cup that I got. This is actually, it has some lettering on it. It says OWGA 1981, but we're not gonna show that part when we display it. It's just gonna look like this. I just thought it was really beautiful and kind of, I mean, it looks like something you drink a potion out of, right? It's like Christmas, except I bought everything from myself. I got this little frame. I'm gonna have to take the sticker off of it. This was $3.25. Probably going to swap out the picture at some point when I find something that fits in there. But these frames like this just so remind me of Hogwarts. And this picture really does kind of remind me of a portrait that would be in there. So I might just keep it in. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I forgot what this could be. What are you? Oh, you, they wrapped the candle? Hold on, there's another part to this. The real talk, this is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. So we have this little candle holder and it came with a candle, like a little swirly candle. This is $2 and this is heavy. It's really heavy, heavier than it looked. I thought for two bucks it would be kind of like a chintzy cheap thing, but it's not. I think this is a pretty good deal for two dollars and it looks pretty Harry Pottery to me. A lot of times I use the phrase Harry Pottery in my life. It makes me sound incredibly educated, let me tell you. I got another picture frame. I will swap out the picture in this one. This was a dollar fifty. Oh, but on the back we can see it's very antique. This cost three ninety nine from like probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> the last, and this is the one I think I'm the most excited about, and I hope this works out the way that I want it to. I got this glass hand. Oh no, the sticker might be a butt to get off. Well, I'll deal with that later. This glass hand, it's a jewelry stand, but I thought it would be cute to like put a wand through. So this was the most expensive thing I got. It was $10 and I really like it. I was actually in the I was in the market for a hand. That was what I was about to say, but it's true. I was looking for a hand for that particular sort of like wand display situation. So I'm glad I found something like this and it didn't cost me very much at all. So that's gonna do it for today's Harry Potter antique mall shopping extravaganza. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you collect any Harry Potter things and if you do the same kind of thing, you like to surround your Harry Potter things with things that look like Harry Potter things. What's this over here? 
I know I can't be the only one and look forward to a thrift store version of this. I saw a lot of glassware here that I'm thinking I could find at a thrift store for way cheaper. And I will definitely make another video of my Harry Potter thrifting adventures. With that being said, I am off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they are all Harry Potter themed this month. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye. Can you see me through it? Oh, you can see me through it, kind of.